Okay, we are live. By we, I mean me. And for those who don't know, my name is Hala. Uh, Halo Moon Studios is kind of my big name for everything I do, especially all the creative stuff. So welcome if you're new. And I see Shayna is here. Hey, Shayna. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Tundra and, uh, well, Tundra is running around the house crying. Because that's what she does. Um, it's raining out. And I think she wants to go outside, but then she doesn't want to go outside. And then Atreyu is down below taking a little nap, hanging out like a good boy. Um, and then she is doing well since she's been spayed. So that's running around the house, <laughs> but she's doing great. All right. So creative commons, this is the start of a new live stream series that I wanted to do. And it's going to eventually be something where we can invite um, a bunch of other creators. So not just digital artists or writers, but I mean, I do like crochet and I know other people do um, embroidery, whatever painting so that we can kind of make this like a little hangout space. We might do sprints depending on what like people want. So we're going to kind of feel this out together. But since I'm solo on this one, I'm going to try to be entertaining. I actually dug up art of mine from 2001. So we're going to look at some of the early stuff, just a few pictures. It's mostly horses. <laughs> And then um, depending what you guys in the comment ones, we're actually going to try to redraw maybe one, maybe a couple of them. And I don't know if you can hear that, but Tundra's coming back. Uh, she, she only got a little wet and she was looking rough, man. She was looking rough. Yeah. You guys going to be good for the stream. We got to say hi to the puppies. That's also part of this channel is my joke. So bear with the camera movements we got a little little baby girl Tundra. hey there she is so there's oh yep getting right up in there there's tundra and then atreyu's not gonna say hi right now he might say hi later when he has to go potty so we will go back there and hello hello welcome to the stream Feel free to comment anything or ask any random questions because I guarantee I'm going to brain fart and run out of things to talk about. So uh, thank you guys for stopping in for sure. Um, so let's just jump into it and then kind of see how it goes. I prepared a few pictures. So we're going to switch over, get ready for the real trip here when we do this. Ah, and then switch over. All righty. So I hope you guys can still hear me well. This is the earliest picture that I had like a visual memory of and that I found among my box of old, old, old sketchbooks. And it's probably around 2001, 2002. And I pretty much exclusively drew animals. Uh, no lie, I still love animals more than people, but I do draw people way more now. Um, so, this is definitely my old cat, Sambo. He was a black cat with a wet, white patch there. And I don't know if any of you were into Lisa Frank, but this is totally based off the horse cover they used to have way back when in the 90s. So representing some 90s babies here. And then I don't know what the other stuff was from, but I know I definitely drew lions a lot so much that I had to staple this to the paper to keep it there. So pretty, uh, pretty, uh, rough start there. I mean, it's not bad. 2001, I was going on 10. Um, so I was like nine, 10 years old for this one. And then, um, I think the next one I have is in about the same time. Uh, I got a whole like how to draw horses book for, I want to say Christmas or a birthday. And so I tried, I did not match the drawings in the book, but I was all about horses. So I definitely drew a lot of them. This one, I remember being super proud of like granted, even looking at it now, sure. Not the most accurate things, but it's not bad for a 10 year old. Like that's 
And I know I had a reference picture. I know I did not trace anything, but I'm, I'm still pretty proud of this, even as a 30 year old adult, 20 years later, um, just looking back on what we did here. And this one, for anybody who likes horses or animation, you know this is Spirit. It came out in 2002, and it is still one of my favorite movies. Not going to lie. I, I will watch that again and again. Um, so I had to do a Spirit. I had to do a Spirit and Rain there. And then the last one from my little horse review is this one with a odd squirrel on a tree and a unicorn hiding behind it and it also had a little star on its butt so that's a thing so we have a if we want to do a horse picture today we do have a little bit of options here then i eventually got around to drawing people uh i noticed in some of the other ones they never had a chin they were just kind of head straight into neck, but this is a front view. So you can't, you can barely tell. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, these lines are rough. So we had the birds and an apple. The birds are doing much better than the sky here. Um, don't know who he is or what inspired him. Got a turtleneck and a trench coat. And I think he was supposed to be walking, but he's very, straight on, uh, definitely not moving if we were going to draw that again. So uh, we would have to fix him up a bit. And the next one, if you recognize what anime inspired me, please put it in the comments. I'm sure some of you can get that. So I'm not going to say what anime it was because I kind of want to see what you guys guess or if you guys have the same childhood as me, but I remember drawing this character as one of my first, like, uh, not quite a fan fiction character, but a character that I created for the universe of the show. And uh, everyone who saw it said it looked like Michael Jackson. So I had mixed feelings on that. Uh, but also we got a very straight on person here, at least some movement in the hair and the jacket. Uh, we put a shadow. Shadows are great, worked on those. Um, but yeah, it's very obvious what show this was from if you were in the 90s and you were a nerd like me. So I'm gonna leave that and see what you guys have to say. Um, and we're gonna jump the idea, scroll out some more. And that was 2002, yeah, the date is down here. Oh no, that's a three, my bad, that's a November 2003. So about a year after the horses, we got some people. Uh, this guy, other than being stiff as a board himself, trying to play with some more, I guess, objects. And it looks like I didn't know what size I wanted it to be. So I just drew it twice or drew it longer. Not entirely sure. But I think he was semi-inspired, aside from having like a Santa cap, question mark, um, by Dot Hack. And I want to say this marking here is what makes me think of Dot Hack sign. And I was definitely very much into that show at the time. So I'm going to say this was a Dot Hack inspiration. And it was done entirely in pen. This is not like changed color from the scan. This is all blue ink. So good job on uh, 2003, 11 year old me. We did it. Oh, that's me not being able to spell my name in person. <laughs> Never mind. I thought that was something else. Um, so, yeah, other than being stiff and straight on and arms being a little too short, not too short, but just a little too short for the body, not a bad, not a bad attempt here. There were other things, but they're all kind of about this range. Uh, so the last one that I scanned in today, so I didn't want to have too many options, was this one because it was the one that I found from 2004. So I had a different date on it. Um, and we can see I got some dialogue in this thought bubble here, uh, which is maybe possibly one of the first times that I've put 
the words into the picture, so going into comics a bit more. And definitely he's wearing a Japanese uniform with way too many buttons. Come on. If you had that many buttons, you would not button up your jacket. Um, and I put a school in the background, so working with a little bit of perspective, but everybody else back here is uh, more or less a stick figure. But the idea is there, and there's some grass. As for this guy, this guy. So, so many things are wrong with this guy's proportions. Um, this whole section of his head is way too up high. His head is like very big for his body, but proportions are all over the place. The nose is way too far over. It's, it's a mess. It's a mess, guys. I apologize, but that's why we're here to look back and to hopefully um, create something better. So let's switch over for the moment. There we go. Okay, so yeah, that was just a very small uh, picture into my childhood of getting into art and drawing. I was also starting to write at the same time but drawing definitely took off a lot quicker. I'm just gonna check out the comments here. Yes, she has, she has wet nose and like the wet hair. So it like kind of sticks up, it's adorable. Uh, Shana says hi. Now she's laying down. Um, do you write in what genre? Yes, so I primarily write fantasy and I have written um, with my graphic novels over right here, those were contemporary, like romance, drama, action series. But as far as just writing in my novels go, I do fantasy almost exclusively. And I've kind of written myself into a giant world. So if you like that world, you're going to see a lot of it. Yes, animals are always better than people. And Lisa Frank, I'm so glad they're back. And I'm very tempted to like buy some of their folders or notebooks again, but at the same time, I have too many notebooks. That's awesome for a 10 year old. I can barely draw stick figures. I don't know where it came from. I honestly don't, because I don't have any records from before the 10 year old animals showed up but cause like my parents don't draw or nothing. And I'm gonna say thank you to Disney and anime really. Cause that's, it just made me inspired. I'm gonna go out of limb and pause it I'm wrong. Rurouni Kenshin. No, it is not Rurouni Kenshin. Let's go back to that image real quick. We're gonna go back. So prepare for the ice age. This one is a, um, it's not a dual disc. But in Yu-Gi-Oh, in Yu-Gi-Oh, they had, um, they had, in the tournament, they had like a board for their cards that popped open. So it's from Yu-Gi-Oh. And that was one of my, uh, ones that I really enjoyed at the time now. And it's, it's a long thing, but. I was super into Yu-Gi-Oh at the time and I had Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I wanted to be a duelist. So I created that character with its own little like dueling sh sheath thing. I uh, don't know what it's called anymore, but it's from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, Roni Kenshin was the more the feudal era. So, but it was a huge, I'd say it's been the top five of my inspirations for Kenshin down there, which we may jump into that. If not today, definitely at some point in these creative commons, because we have a lot to go through. Um, I said my name in Hiragana, because Hiragana is so much prettier than cursive. Also, I can't write cursive, but I can write Hiragana too. I can never get into it. I assume we're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. I think it might have been partially to the voice actors. Rewatching it, the dubbing is pretty rough, but once you get past the first season, after you try it like five or six times, it's not too bad, but then it definitely, it's one of those that should have ended earlier, I think, and it just got way too big. 
it's when the series get too big like i really enjoyed one piece and then it was like once it got over 250 episodes i was like why am i watching this it's so long so my fault in it is that it's just too long but anywho so those were the um i think eight total pictures that i selected from my earliest earliest days uh, if you guys want to kind of pick one, we can start on redrawing that or we can delve into some other stuff. Um, but I'd like to try doing at least one over, maybe one of the horses, like with a reference picture, now that I can draw better with a reference. Um, so if there's any preference, put that in the comments. First come, first serve. I'm going to open up this art file and kind of pick out which one I'd like to do if nobody else cares which one we're going to do. Um, of course, I want to do like the really complicated one. But yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So you guys got one minute to pick if there's any of those eight. I'll go through, actually, I'll smart person. I will go through them, number one through eight, and then you can just put the number if it doesn't, or you know, if you don't know how to describe it. So let's do that. I think I have to share my screen again. So let's share screen to this one. Oopsie. All right. So we, our first one, this is number one. We'll say any one of these animals would be a great thing to redraw. Number two, we have the rearing horse and a snake. Number three, knight on a horse. Number four, Spirit, or I guess two horses tethered together. Number five, unicorn. Number six, uh, boardwalk. I think that's what I call it, boardwalk guy. Number seven, the duelist from Yu-Gi-Oh! inspired universe. Number, oh shoot, was that number seven? Number eight, <laughs> uh, snowboarder. And number nine, we're gonna do as a, let's just call it detention. So again, oh, I forgot this one. What? Okay. So while you're picking one through nine, um, the all of these, there's an anime, there's a how to draw anime. It says anime, I believe, or it should be anime, but we're gonna say it that way, anime, because people recognize it um, out there. And all of these were, I believe, in that book and i had attempted to draw them and then this red ink down here was me trying to redraw some years later so you can already see that i improved so it's kind of a spoiler but you know yeah no you know you know you know okay so uh let's see shana you wish dbz was longer I guess compared to the other Dragon Balls, but like the character, definitely the characters in DBZ were the most interesting. But I mean, if it had more of Trunks, let's see if it had more of Trunks. And Yu Yu Hakusho could go on forever and it'd never be enough. I, I, I agree. Like, I want more Yu Yu Hakusho, especially because, like, that last season. The end, like there wasn't enough at the end. There was not. We finally got to see his father, and that arc went so quickly. And I wanted to see more of Yusuke doing his thing. Like the whole cast of Yu Hakusho is precious to me. So I'll, I'll take more Yu Yu Hakusho. There was a couple like OVA like movies. I think I have one of them, uh, but the dub version has different voice actors and it's not great it's not great um and i like the one with your cat okay we're gonna go back to the cat one uh real quick did i see the new there's new episode i feel like i heard of it so now i have not seen them but now i have to go investigate so i'm gonna put that on my memo of things to investigate and uh maybe i know i have fan art coming up in one of these so maybe we'll do some fan art in the next one Okay. They're supposed to dub them, but they're only in Japanese. Well, I'll watch them. I'll watch them. 
I'll do it subtitled if I have to. All right. <laughs> so we're going to do the one with the cat, which is the first one. So we're going to redraw a cat on a shelf. So let's copy that image into... Um, am I sharing the right thing? No, I'm not. <laughs> we'll do, yeah, we'll do that version. Uh, and I'm sharing the wrong screen. So let's share the full screen. Let's just do the entire screen again. I know it's going to be wonky for a second here. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. We should be in Credo. Let me double check it on YouTube before I'm going off on my thing here. Um, all right. So, oof, this is huge. Let's resize this. I don't know why this scale is weird. There we go. There we go. So we're going to resize this image and get um, out of the way a bit. But we're going to redraw this cat. Going to do it. All right. And the program that I'm using, if anybody else does digital art, is called Krita, K-R-I-T-A. It's a free program, very close to Photoshop in many of the drawing ways. I've not experimented it, experimented with it in other forms, but uh, as far as drawing and stuff goes, it's pretty nice. I do enjoy it. So yes. Let's hop over and start drawing a cat. So first I'm going to do it from just current, let's see, current memory. We're gonna draw the cat, cat. All right, so here's where things get difficult. Bear with me here. Oh, I can't see the cat in that one. Ah, I'll just move this Oh no, I wrote it on the wrong thing. Uh, so for, uh, for those who also do digital art, layers are hard to remember. So pay attention to your layers. But we're going to do this again. Got to make that a little bigger. So number one. cat number one is going to be from current memory um, based on this cat here. That's not where I want it because I want to draw it like right here. So we're going to move it just a smidge down. Okay. okay, and here we go. I like to start with the face or the heads. Um, and with animals a lot, I like to start with the ears as well. And I'm not going in and drawing much of the shapes as in doing like a head, neck, or so kind of deal. Um, but that's what it would kind of look like if I did, but I already have like a reference here. So I'm just going to do that um, in my head, I guess. I don't know. I didn't really think about it until I started drawing for you guys. Um, so the big thing <laughs> It's always going to be the perspective on these. Like, that eye is so wrong. <laughs> I do. I do. Uh, we've got to figure out. I don't think their heads are that steep. I don't think they are. And his head was not that fluffy either. So Sambo was a pretty much almost pure black cat, except for the white patch on his chest. And he was from a litter of, um, six in total, I think, but one didn't really make it too long. I know these cats just come out a bit in here. Um, there was a small accident with his little brother, so. But the others lived pretty much to ripe old ages of, well, Sambo was like 18. He was 
the long one there. And he wasn't really like mine mine, but he became mine because I cleaned him as I do when there's an animal around. Um, and uh, he used to like sleep in my bed. He was my little buddy, but he got old obviously at 18 and they were indoor outdoor cats. So he eventually didn't come home, but that's okay. Cause he's still my favorite. And according to my fifth grade, like memory book, he is the thing I love most in the world. So that butt doesn't look right, but I drew it on the wrong layer again. I'm doing so good at this guys. Oh God. Uh, well, since I drew it on the wrong layer, we're going to have to just erase all this pencil stuff in the background. Get that notebook line out of the way. And trim up some of these lines. So it's not looking too bad, but I'm, I don't know what is going on with his butt. Because um, obviously it connects up here, right? So... Maybe it's just that bend. I think it's the bend that looks wrong. And I would, I will say like after all of these years of drawing on and off, it's easier to know when something looks wrong, but it's hard to know like how to correct it. Oh, wow. Big butt. Big black. Big butts. And now that's like super straight. So we're just gonna draw the whole tail. Just gonna draw the whole tail over. Give it some more curve. Cat. Okay. Um, so this is definitely a full grown cat. I'm pretty happy with his face going on here. So we like the face. Um, I. I can't tell if his legs are long or I guess so. Cause he's like an adult. He's not like a baby with little, little legs and big toe beans. So we're going to save this. And since I did it on the wrong layer, we're going to put it on a better layer. So we copy and paste and we make a selection. I remember all of my shortcuts from Photoshop, so I'm get not necessarily upset, but I'll like be doing keys that don't do anything anymore because it's not okay. Good, it's on a separate layer now, so we can actually go in and clean up. Uh, I can see it on my computer screen, not on my drawing screen so much, but there's the oops the white background. We're just going to clean up some of this outside and give us something we can save onto. Actually, that's probably not important right now since we're not doing color. So I'll just finish this section. We'll go to the next thing. Well, that is my current memory of a cat laying down. So I, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, do I feel the need to look up a reference for this pose? Not quite. What do you guys think? If you want me to do a reference cat, we can totally do that. Or we can try another picture. I'm going to hop back over to the main screen here. See what's going on. <laughs> so he is mine. Sorry, Karama. We can be best friends, but he is mine. And hello, welcome. Welcome to the group. Feel free to introduce yourself. Um, I hope you caught the beginning of this where I did my little intro, but I didn't do much. I really did not do much. I said my name and then I stopped. So I think it's probably a good time that we can do something like that. Maybe that'll like trigger some questions. Um, so like I said, my name is Hala. Halo Moon Studios is my little studio name for all the crazy and creative things that I do. 
I used to, even though I'm sort of kind of still working on them, uh, do graphic novels. Those are some of the self-published ones over here. I'm currently writing a novel series as well. I primarily work in the fa fantasy. What was that accent? <laughs> the fantasy genre. Um, today with Creative Commons, we're kind of going back in time to my earliest days of drawing and seeing how I can draw some of those things. Now, I do, I guess my style is, it's very like manga inspired, but it's also getting more like, not quite realistic, realistic, but semi-realistic as time goes on with my style developing. So I think that might actually be cool to try one of these people and do like a style change as well. Hey, I'm in the charge of this stream. I'm gonna do that. And then you guys can tell me what to do after that. So we're gonna jump to one of these people, one of these old drawings that I did. So let's do this crazy thing again. And let's see, we want to do boardwalk guy, duelist chick, snowboarder, or detention. We'll do that. So number one, number two, number three, and number four. All right. I hate when I have to switch over like that, but I can't do the two set things. I guess I could, I don't know. I'm still learning how to do this in a like normal way without my screen showing all the time, but also I have to switch between. I'm making excuses. Pick between numbers one, two, three, and four, and we're gonna do a, a manga adaptation for what my current manga style is looking like. And then we'll see if we do a semi-realistic one. We'll kind of fool around with it but my, even my like manga style has changed a lot over the years. It was very, I don't wanna say very basic because there's so many different styles and that doesn't narrow it down. My biggest inspirations were Inuyasha, Yu Yu Hakusho, Bleach, Rurouni Kenshin. Mmm. <laughs> Who was my fifth inspiration? I like that's a tough one. Anything on Toonami? Can I say that? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So those are my big inspirations. But now, like my style is definitely more toward the realistic, even like the more realistic animal, animal, <laughs> anime size. Like, like I'd say the cowboy beat. Bop style versus Inuyasha. Cowboy Bebop is a little bit more on the realism side and than the Inuyasha stylistically. So kind of changing like that. You guys be the judge, but we do have Shayna here saying, try the duelist. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to look up one of those dueling things. Um, I heard shadowing is difficult for ours too. Yes and no. So there are certain things I know what the shadow should look like on them. But as I've learned with my recent attempts at digital painting um, and seeing like other artists do amazing stuff with their lights and shadows, I'm like, I apparently don't know. What, I know what I'm doing, but I just don't know how far I can take it. Like I'm doing like level one shading. Maybe now I'm like dipping into level two because I've learned a couple of things. Um, but yeah, like some people out there are amazing and that's the goal is to get there, to get there and, and create images, watch out bud, uh, with, with that dynamic light and shadow. So is it difficult? I think, uh, just as a practice, it definitely is because you have to know where your light sources are and how things fall on a surface. So it takes a lot of pre set knowledge before, unless you have a reference. Wow, I can't speak English, so I'm not really attesting very well to my whole writing thing. But I promise you, I write better than I speak. And uh, back to the light and shadow thing. Yes, it's difficult because you have to know all these things beforehand, unless you have a reference. But even then, 
you still have to kind of understand it. But I like trying. So let's look at the do list again. We're going to copy that image. I got to do this thing. Bam. All right. So the do list is here. So let's copy this into our art file. We're going to hide our kitty cat. Uh, I don't think I need that layer. So we're just going to delete that. I'm going to bring in the do list. Bring in the do list. All right, so they don't fit in my little square I prepared today, but do I really care about their shoes? <sighs> no, <laughs> but we're gonna make them fit. I don't know if those proportions are correct. Uh, so yeah, we'll put them there. Actually, we'll put them over here so I can draw on this side of it. Okay, so here's our 2003 duelist person. So with a person, I'm definitely going to set up my shape so I can get some um, proportions set up pretty early, even though I kind of have these nice ruled lines as a reference. I want to, I want to upgrade it. So we are going to upgrade this picture to a 20, whoops. So this is what, 2003? And this one's going to be 2022. Hey. All right. Um, actually, we're gonna, can we move you over just a bit more? Your shadow's not too important. Your shadow's not too important. Oh, I had room. That's my canvas. Oh, I have room. Okay, we'll keep it here. Okay. I'm actually going to move this. I'm going to move this over. And that's not the right layer. There we go. So that's going to be our 2022. Okay. All right. So don't know why I got nervous all of a sudden, but I'm going to get started on this the best that we can. And I think I, I'm going to start by changing this pose a little bit because it's very, very static and just head on. And even if we have someone standing head on, I this pose just could be relaxed a little bit more. So we're gonna kind of wing it, guys. We're gonna wing it, make sure we're on a black because that happens a lot when I'm not on a black. And going in. Oh, how do I want you to stand? How do I want you to stand? Obviously, we're going to start with our head, and we're looking straight on, so we're going to keep our face looking straight. So maybe since the hand is in the pocket here, um, we can do some, a little bit of a slump, like... So the shoulders will go a little bit like that, a little bit, just of a dip in there. Kind of getting a little masculine, but we're, we'll come back and fix it. And our waist is about yay. Um, so kind of like that. And then we don't want this too masculine. I like drawing men, so that's why everything is so masculine. I'm sorry. We'll make it better. We'll make it better when we get there. I uh, don't know where the musical stuff is coming in, guys. but So the few things, like, I have not studied anatomy enough recently. But, oh, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it, man. Uh, I need to do it. So we're going to do a little bit slimmer here. Let's just go with all the slim shapes so we can bring this back a bit more. Because that's it's feeling very masculine. I've been drawing men a lot recently. Um, obviously, you want to go a little bit more slender. I, I guess it could have been a masculine woman. I'm not going to judge. But for the image that I am trying to do in my head, uh, slope is not quite right. And then you got the boobies. Okay, so it's a slightly more masculine slash fit slash 
woman being cool. Yeah, she's just cool. Don't judge. Don't judge. And then this hand can still be pretty straight, but what's really going to come out here is the bam. We got the hips. Probably not like that crazy of hips, but. Oh, maybe not. Didn't maybe these? Hmm? Am I not thinking this through? No, wait. She's gonna have. She's gonna be staying pretty strong here. I don't know if that position is what we want, but hey, we gotta start somewhere. We're gonna do that. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. Just trying to give some flavor to this drawing. That's kind of a big foot. And obviously, if you guys are here for the Creative Commons, you don't have to just like watch me do stuff. It's kind of just helping you guys set a time to uh, get stuff done. I uh, usually when I do this with other people, we're all working on our own stuff and just chatting. So feel free to work on your stuff. And if you want to check in or ask some questions, you're more than welcome to. Um, and if you're ever, ever, if you're ever, ever, if you're ever interested in joining in for some artsy shenanigans, feel free to let me know because I don't want to be alone all the time. <laughs> all right. So that's not quite the pose that I was going for, but it's at least a little bit better than that one. we got a little bit more curve and it still is pretty solid. So maybe, hey, we meant to do that. And they've got the dual disc here. Uh, so the way that that would come out is going to be behind them. So you're not even going to see the dual. It's not a dual disc. What is it called? Come on, Yu-Gi-Oh fans, help me out. All right. So now I'm just going to kind of clean up these lines so I can see what we've made here before I do some actual line art. <clears throat> Especially cutting down on some of these lines. And some of those lines. Just cutting down. Trim, trim, trimming, trim, trim, trimming. Um. Yes. So as I was saying about anatomy before I realized I was drawing a man, um, few things to remember, like if you're worrying about lengths is the wrists should or usually match the pelvic line there or the, like the crotch area and then elbows and like somewhere between like the rib and the belly button, I think. I have to check that one out, but I know it's pretty close in there. All right, so here's our little lady kind of thing here, doing her stuff, strutting her dual disc, which just because we are gonna, whoopsie, we are gonna actually just draw it over here. So I think it attached it. Was there a gap? Did it attach? All right. So something like that is what we're going for. Now we can get into the face. Or oops, the actual yes. fun drawings here. So we take down our line art and let's make a new layer. And so we have our Michael Jackson face, as they told me. Long, straight hair, one bit over the eye, serious, narrow face. Not too hard to work with here. So we're going to just line the face real quick. And 
the great thing about doing digital art, even though I did, and I still do love drawing by hand, is just it's so much easier to erase and do things over. Uh, so we're sticking with the anime and not this it's totally realistic. So, oops, eyebrows are ain't going to be that big. They ain't going to be that big. But they're going to be sharp. Sharp. They ain't, they ain't taking things lightly. And that's, this is one of my just this, the most simple and easiest nose to do. I guess then just like having the two dots or whatever. But um, let's see. Are they smirking? Are they a smirky character? Um, sure. <laughs> she looks like she's looking off to the side now because my line is so close over here. So we're going to. Smudge it over a bit, clean it up. Mm -hmm. We have the hair. Let's give it a little bit more to it. Okay, so we definitely got pretty simple and straightforward face going on for this character you now with it being so we're gonna let's give her some definition in that hair as well just to give us some volume man like who wants flathead i hate when i have to put a ponytail up and i get flathead and there's always some like hair sticking out just because Nothing is perfect, even though this person is probably very careful at getting their hair done, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't spend that much time on my hair, so tough, kid. Tough. And then we put a, I think, a low pony. Where did we put this ponytail? It's, it's high, but it's in the back, so it's not really doing much. We're going to give it some more. I'll just do it up here. Just gonna give it more, a little bit more flow and movement to it. Um, what the heck is she wearing? <laughs> Let's zoom out and see what she's wearing. Okay. Um, so we have a bandana scarf around the neck and a very simple shirt, trench coat, some pants that are zip offs, if I remember correctly. So let's play around with that. We're gonna get the overclothes done first. So with the scarf, we can actually lose part of the neck here, but um, so I don't have a reference right now, which means some of my wrinkles may not be totally accurate, but I've drawn a few of these, so I'm going off what I remember. And, um, and then with the trench coat, so we are going to have some stiffness and lines like that. And maybe not so much. Eh. Billowing in the wind, remember that. It's billowing in the wind. So would the collar come up? I think the collar would come up. This should have a collar. Let's give it a collar. So, oops.
and it's billowing in the wind, but she's got her hand in her pocket, which means it's being supported down here for sure. Um, and I'm probably going to give her some different clothing that just is a little bit more than a t-shirt and zip off pants. But let's get these done. Uh, I'm not paying too much attention to how these wrinkles are. I'm mostly going for the movement right now since ideally you would want to check your wrinkling. Like each fabric is going to wrinkle differently. So actually this line is going to start curving away. So it really depends on what you're doing with them. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, if we're doing this real Yu-Gi-Oh style, it does something like this. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's going to be like super stiff in the back. I'm not gonna quite do that here. Um. Okay, so that actually drops down. Okay. So aside from this basic shirt, we can play with it to show off the character's figure more if we wanted, or we could just keep it a loose t-shirt. Um, let's do a crop top. Why? Because, I don't know, that's what my brain went with first. Who doesn't love wearing not warm clothes with warm clothes? And some details on where the pants should be. Or I guess where they are, really. Do we wear belts anymore? I don't think so, but... Um, we can still keep something going on. Do we want to do the zip-off pants? We can do zip-off pants, yeah. I'm just going to have this line here anyway. Okay, so we are about done with this rough, quick... What shoes did I give you? I gave him chucks. Well, we're going to do chucks then. That's not, that's a clown foot. That's a clown foot. We don't want that. Not for this character, at least. Oh, how do you draw? Super quick. Everyone loves a good chuck because they are like iconic shoes and they're super easy to draw. And Use K wears them, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got the dual disc thing. Okay. All right, we'll draw the dual disc. Now it's going to be over the. Uh, jacket a bit and like as I I could look this up right now but it's not really the point of the picture but I do I still need to look up what it's called I'm just gonna say it's a dual disc because it comes out of the disc right that's why sure that's why and then you would put your cards in the slots here Anywho. 
sound effects are necessary when you're drawing stuff. Okay. So here we are with our 2022 ooh, messed that one up. 2022 line art remake. So let me take away the let's zoom in a little bit. Maybe a little less. Okay, we're not going to find a good middle ground. So hopefully this is good for you guys. So without the sketch, and if we take off Let's just cut that out for a moment so it's not interfering. Oh man, just zoom wherever. Okay, so yeah, we have redrawn one of our very first fanfic characters, I guess. I never wrote a, I never, never wrote the fanfic. I just create, put a character in the universe where so are sort of, um, it's not necessarily drawn in the Yu-Gi-Oh style, but there you go. Uh, that was actually kind of fun and we got some good line art out of it. Let's see what, let's see what the people are thinking here. So I'm gonna step away from this after I save it. And come, oops, wrong thing. Over. Okay. So that went, that went well, that was kind of fun. Uh, especially, I love redrawing stuff and then seeing it so much better. <laughs> that makes me just happy to like see that progress. Cause when you do it day in and day out, you're just like with anything, you get in the groove of it so you don't notice. But this was a good idea. It is called a dual disc, okay. Okay, so I wasn't just imagining that because I was thinking like it comes out of the disc, so it must be a dual disc. But then they had like they had a different one that did holograms that was more disky, so I wasn't sure. But yeah, that was fun. So let's share this a little bit better here. Not the bulk of it is done. Yes. Ha 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 ha. Yes. All right. So let me zoom in here just so we got the real deal comparison guys 2003 is on the left of the screen and today in 2022 is the right so we had a lot of different things going on so um i guess our lesson time and you know i'm not necessarily like the guru for this but from what we're can tell and from what i am looking at we we made the pose a little bit more natural by not having it so static and straight on and then gave a little bit more flow to the hair a little bit more even personality to the the face obviously and then adding in oh we didn't do the shading Ooh, that's right we can do more with this so um we got movement in the clothing, whereas like we sort of had it with the bottom of the trench coat in the first one and the hair, it wasn't totally there. So let's go in and like shade this, like let's play with this image today. I think this is gonna be our image. Um, and I'm probably only going to about 10 o'clock today because I don't wanna push it too long for you guys since nobody knows what we're getting into. <laughs> Um, let's see. Do you ever paint or have you seen any of Jay Lee paintings videos? I'm so hooked. I, I don't recall seeing any of them. I, um, if it's like acrylic or oil or watercolor painting, then I probably have not necessarily looked it up because I'm trying to learn more digital skills. Um, if he's a digital artist, I'd love to check him out and learn something. Um, as far as me, like painting, painting, A, it's expensive. B, I need an undo button, but I did used to, by used to, I had to take art classes in both high school and university where we had to paint with acrylics. And I got some fun stuff out of there. I'll have to like dig some of that stuff up and put it up somewhere. 
Um, just to share, like I, I need to get my old like records and portfolio together. Um, I guess it's not really part of my portfolio because I don't necessarily want to advertise that I paint like that, but I have a few things. So maybe we'll redo one of those paintings one day. Who knows? We have, we have so many creative comments to do. I know. That was Tundra. Are you laughing at me? Or are you crying? She is downstairs. All right. So let's get some shading in this and, um, We'll probably call it after that, just so the puppies can go out, because it sounds like the rain has stopped and I'm pretty sure they need to go. So we're just going to do this. So there's a couple ways that I could approach this shading. I could do a hard line. Um, actually, I think I can start with this anyway and kind of map out. Um, so we're gonna use the same direction for the light source which means everything else will be pretty much in shadow. And we can edit this line later. This will kind of just give us a good base to work with. Tundra pending, because I hear her wanting to like run around down there. <laughs> and sometimes you just need to like go over stuff a couple times. Swoosh. Let me give it a little halo here. Um, so we're gonna fill that in. Fill, fill, fill. Let's do this like dark teal. And I'm basically just mapping out areas that I feel are going to get the brunt of the shadows, as it were. Oops, we just kind of did some multiple lines there and I can't reach my bottom. Oh, uh, that's right, this is in Photoshop. We gotta fill each one before we move on. All right, so even with just these shading lines, it's looking pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, and I, I do like starting this way because it makes things dynamic really quickly. Um, so now we're just gonna get some of the other stuff in here. And... I think we're only doing the shading today because I'm I think the pups need to go out but we're just going to clean up this so I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit more and get all the extra like I'm pretty sure I have gaps in my line art otherwise I could just select it and clear it but I don't have time to check all that to this moment I'm probably going to clear a couple extra things so, I wish we could speed this up, but this is real time, guys. This is real time doodly doos, which means all the filler bits are included. I can actually get more in here. Baby girl wants to go out. I hear ya. So we're 
just gonna simplify this real quick. Like I said, we're gonna get all the empty spots that don't need to be there and let that be it for the day. Usually I have either, um, I have been able to let them out, but with the, we had so much rain today, they were inside while I was at work and I got off late, but it was also pouring. So um, I'm gonna get them out as soon as possible. Cause I tell you, it doesn't matter. He's just down here snoring up a storm. It's my boy. It's my boy. He likes to sleep like his mom. All right, that's a big space here. And we don't have to be too careful right now. This isn't like the final product or anything. We're just putting in some shading to kind of compare to what we've done before. Obviously, the older shading was very much grand and um, not grand necessarily, but very just there. It wasn't, doesn't feel like it was planned very well, except for it was all on the one side. So. Oh, no, big stretch. And thank you guys so much for checking this stream out. Um, like I said, it's just the first one and usually I'm not solo, but I expect that I might be for several of them. And anybody who's doing art stuff um, or creative stuff, whatever it may be, you are more than welcome to join me. Um, if you guys would like to do sprints in the future, I'm totally cool with that. Today was just kind of a uh, experiment on formatting, but I don't, I don't think I could handle just me talking every week for two hours. So um, any ideas you have, I hear ya, here she comes, are more than welcome. We're just going to have fun and create stuff. So here we are. And the rest, we're just going to lighten up the shading just a smidge. to give you our 2022 duelist character. Let me get these lined up a little bit better so we can see it on the same. There we go. Okay. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. So we put in some shadows here. Tundra's begging for attention, but it is about 9.30, so I think we did something fun for the first day. Uh, let's see if we have any more comments. Oh, the old works. Oh, they are, they are, um, they're a lot like this one here, kind of smudgy in pencil, uh, but there are some, like, interesting ones, so I'll try to pick out those more for next time. Sweet Tundra. Oh, well, I wish you would sit and purr. She's laying down right now, but I don't want to chance and start something and then have her still need to go out. Um, kind of off topic, but how did, so I passed. I took it last Thursday and that's kind of why I've been out of the loop or I've just been like, I basically went dark. I haven't been on the internet for the past two weeks because I've been studying for my exam, which was a the second certification I needed for my day job. And I did pass, so it was worth it. And now I'm trying to get back in the groove. So we're doing the things. Uh, so thank you for remembering that. It was harder than it needed to be, but we, we persevered. What do we got? <laughs> That's okay. Just need someone to like fill in my dead space and remind me that there's comments, really. Um, yeah, so if you do ever, if you want to do stuff or just kind of hang out and play hostess, you're more than welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you, Shana. You have always been like such a huge support. Hey, oh, thank you. Yes, it. everybody else knew I was going to pass except for me. Like, I, it's, I think it was 
they trusted me to study, but I had to, I felt like I needed to do so much extra studying to pass. And it really was like stupid hard for no reason. So, but it's over and you don't have to do it again. So that's great. All right. So take, let's take one more look-see here at the lovely, uh, drawings we managed to do today. We also have a cat. There's a cat in here. There's the, the cat, the cat, where's the cat? Is this the cat? I think this is the cat. We drew a cat today, guys. There's a cat. It's so much bigger. There it is. So we drew a cat and we drew a person and it was a lot of fun. Thank you guys again. We're gonna close, we're gonna stop sharing. Don't forget to sign them up. I always forget, <laughs> I always forget to sign them, but it's also like, I can just put a signature on it anytime, but at the same time, I should sign it so it's not stolen, but I'm also like, who's going to steal my stuff? But you never know. So I'm going to sign that. I'm going to sign it right now for you. Um, and my fun scribbly scribbly scribble. Uh, except for I have to like do it three or four times because it's just hard to get the right angle when it's on a tablet. Anywho. Thank you guys for tuning in. I have to go take care of these whiny, whiny babies. Do you guys want to say goodbye? No? Okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, you never know. You never know. So thank you. And if you have any ideas, definitely leave them in the comments below. I would like to do this every Wednesday, probably about the same time, 8 to 10 p.m., and then that may change depending on people's schedules if should they want to do this with me. So for now, it is going to be on Wednesdays in the evenings. And I'm trying to think, did I remember? I don't have a like a total plan for next time. We might do some probably more sketchbook delving, or we might do some like anatomy studies. I am open for ideas. We've got a lot of these to go. This is only the first one, so whatever you guys have ideas for leave them in the comments and thank you again i'm gonna let you guys go go pre go be creative and take care of yourself those are the two most important things and then take care of others and then but also <laughs> but also animals take care of them first so prior to I prioritize how you need it but i'm gonna go take care of my babies and i will see you guys in the next video Take care. Gotta hit the button. So I'm just gonna wave awkwardly. Okay, bye.